what if we could use nothing but our words and our imagination and our inspiration to create beautiful puzzles and make thousands of dollars on Etsy, on Shopify, Walmart, Amazon, etc. What if that were a possibility? Well, today I'm going to explore that possibility with you and I'm going to show you also three different examples of Etsy stores here. Let me show you my train of thought here. So Lantern Press Artwork was the first store that I found. They've done over $6.5 million in sales selling puzzles. All right. And all of these puzzles, they do follow a similar style, um, a mosaic tile style. And so I'm going to show you today how to use artificial intelligence and AI art tools to create these images. And then I'm going to show you how to use print on demand to actually create these products. So I thought maybe this store was lucky in that, you know, there weren't going to be many other stores succeeding like this, but check this out. Cloudberry puzzles, They've been in the game for a little while. They're more of an intermediate level. They've had some success. Um, they're getting about 80 weekly sales, eight weekly reviews, and they also are doing puzzles. But finally, guys, check out Lucid Puzzle Studio. They have 500 sales already, and they started in 2023. Unless they paid an artist for this, it's AI generated. And so this one over here as well, 16 people have it in their cart. Don't be deceived by the low price. That's probably for the lowest, uh, maybe like a hundred piece jigsaw puzzle. Whereas what we're going to be selling is anywhere from 110 pieces to 1000 pieces. And so I'm going to price this anywhere from 1995 all the way up to 4995. And my profit margin will be somewhere between 25 to 30 percent so i'm excited to start selling these puzzles on etsy i'm also going to integrate onto tiktok shop onto my shopify store of course if anyone is thinking about getting started with e-commerce etsy literally the barrier to entry is so low of course merch by amazon is also huge but they currently don't do puzzles um so i won't be doing this necessarily on merch by amazon um but these are just some of the examples of some of the designs that i'm going to show you today um i'm using dolly three and chat GPT four. Um, I've been having a amazing success with this tool. And recently I've been, you know, going after plugins. So if you want me to make a video on some plugins for print on demand and e-commerce that can really help you save time, may help you make more money, help you, um, do scrape websites. These are all tools. And, and we're just in the beginning of the first few months of plugins that are available to us. Yep, I can make a video on that, but I'm using ChatGPT4, Dolly 3, and I asked it at first to generate an illustration of a mosaic style octopus, beautiful bursting color for use for a puzzle and product. And this is what it gave me back. It's not bad. However, um, you know, we, we want for a puzzle, the entire graphic to be filled for the entire design space to be filled. We don't necessarily want there to be white space. Um, like there is in this first image. So I had to regenerate and I loved the second regeneration. So this is going to be going on a puzzle and this is exactly what it looks like. So there's a lot of detail to it. And so then I started going through variations. The first variation was to generate in the same style, but with a shark. And when, um, you know, I asked for this, I did have to go through three different generations. As you can see down here, this is my third, but I was really happy with this one. So I saved it. I'll be using this one, we scroll down. And now I, I saw another design here on the Lantern Press artwork. Again, these guys have done 6.5 million and so many of their puzzles are best sellers. So, you know, the reason why I'm doing mosaic style and the reason why I did an octopus in my first design is because this one's a best seller. It's in lots of people's carts. It's got tons and tons of reviews and they're making lots of money on this listing, 1.6K. Total sales over the last seven days, 16 sales. Guys, they're shipping out hundreds of puzzles every single week. And you can too. You just need a little bit of time to build up a catalog like they have. Um, so I'm taking inspiration from this Koi Pond design as well. So over here on ChatGPT, I asked for a beautiful illustration of a Koi Pond from a top-down perspective, mosaic tile style. And so this wasn't bad. However, I wanted something a little more intimate, a little more spiritual, a little more um, relatable to my competitor's image. So the second generation got a little bit better. I asked it to zoom in closer, please. Feature the fish got a little bit better. Not too bad. Um, I may end up using this one, but my favorite was the actual the last generation. 
So I asked it to regenerate and embody the feelings of spirituality, peace, and art. And this is what it came back with. So really, really beautiful. You can see the mosaic style coming through still. And so one thing that I noticed was that this store is actually using paper mosaic style. I asked ChatGPT to now generate an illustration of a sea otter playing in the sea, paper mosaic style and it came back with a slightly different style from what we were generating. Um, I don't know exactly what my customer would prefer if they're going to prefer more of a tile or more of a paper mosaic. However, I'm going to try both and just see what works. I always follow the data. I always try and upload quickly, try and move fast. Let's go ahead and keep going here. I switched away from animals and moved over to national parks because again, I noticed that many of these sellers were succeeding with things like national parks, different animal types, different um, places you can go, like cities. And so you can take advantage of things that people are searching for. So I asked ChatGPT to please generate an illustration of Rocky Mountain National Park purple sunset mountains mosaic style. So this was actually really pretty. The prompt that I gave it was very basic and it came back with this really, really beautiful image that I think would make a great puzzle. Same thing, um, you know, I asked for another regeneration, but in the paper mosaic style, and this is what it came back with, very beautiful. And finally, I asked for a generation of the Grand Canyon, the Southern Rim, and a vibrant, beautiful sunset. And this is what it came back with. So really beautiful, we could keep going. You could obviously keep studying your competitors and seeing what products they are succeeding with what best seller tags they have, what products do people have in their cart quite frequently. Go to their reviews and see how many times it's been reviewed recently. So now that I have some designs that I'm happy with, I'm going to go into big JPEG and I'm going to upscale them and make them larger resolution so that we can create our puzzle and and sync it with Etsy. So if you don't know already, Printify syncs with Etsy. Guys, if you're not on Printify, it's absolutely free to join. You only actually pay for inventory or pay for your product once it's been printed and once someone, a customer obviously has purchased from you. So that's why it's called print on demand. You're only paying after you actually get sales. Join Printify. First though, I wanna talk about if you don't want to pay for ChatGPT because there is a small fee right now with Dolly 3 and ChatGPT Pro. There is a free version as well, but, but in order to generate these images, you would need to pay the $20 monthly, which I believe is worth it. However, I want to show you two other options that you can use. One is called Ideagram. On Ideagram, you're going to be able to generate designs even with text fairly easily. Another free option that you could potentially use is Leonardo.ai. Now, personally, what I've seen come from this is mostly characters, but you could probably generate animals and other types of designs that may also do well on puzzles. And if you have, uh, you know, if you're trying to lower your risk as much as possible and you're trying not to spend anything, then going with something like Leonardo and ideagram to start with and then eventually upgrading to mid journey or dolly 3 is going to be advantageous for you um, so start with this see if it meets your needs see if you can make it work for you and then eventually move on to paid tools all right again guys big jpeg is 100 percent free to use if you want to upscale up to four times which is what i did so i'm going to download these and now I have my Rocky Mountain and Octopus mosaic style AI art. I'm gonna go put these, this design on Printify and onto the actual puzzle. So I'm navigating over to Printify. I'm logged into my Etsy store. If you don't have an Etsy store, it only takes a few minutes to set up. Don't let that be a barrier for you. Only takes a few minutes to go set it up. Sync it with your Printify. Also, click of a button, really easy to do. Then search for puzzle, all right? And we're gonna choose district photo from the United States to fulfill this product for us. All we need to do is hit this green button that says start designing. We're gonna upload from our device. We're going to choose the image that we just upscaled to a higher resolution that we want to create into a puzzle. 
And once it's loaded, we're going to ensure that it's stretched across the entire canvas because for a puzzle, it needs to be entirely filled out. We don't want to have any white space. If you wanted to generate your image in this dimension here, 3,150 by 2550, that would give you the exact canvas size that you would need to, in order to not cut off any sort of your, any sides of your image. However, I'm going to use what we have here. I'm not going to go back and regenerate anything for the purposes of this video. All right. And then this is what our puzzle looks like. And this is what the main photo for the listing would be. This is what I would use for the main photo. Now, of course you could adjust this if you don't like how it looks and you wanted to adjust it in some way, you absolutely can. This is going to be what I'm using. And so this is going to come in a variety of different sizes. All right. I actually had to go back a step because I forgot to choose the sizes. So don't forget to choose the sizes and the other product variants. You can come in here and you can choose it here by select, or you can go up to product variants in the top right, deselect and select all variants. I recommend selecting all variants. We're going to sell from 110 piece puzzles all the way up to 1014 piece puzzles. All right. That's a massive puzzle. It's huge. But what's more important is we're going to end up with a 20 to $25 profit margin. Not only did I add the horizontal options, I also added the vertical options. So unless you specifically want to include vertical options, you can include those, but I'm going to deselect them. Um, that way I only have the horizontal options. So that looks correct to me. I'm going to save this product. And then once I click save, it's going to take me over to add in a few details so that I can actually upload it to Etsy. If you get stuck on your title and your tags, you can always go back over to your competitors and actually see what they're using, not to steal what they're using, but to get inspiration of what they're actually targeting. So their main keyword is puzzle. Then they have octopus, paper mosaic, thousand pieces, unique jigsaw, family adults. So that's their title. Now, if you want to install Etsy hunt, there's a link for that below and it will give you all of their tags directly there. Um, it's a really useful tool that will help you in many, many ways if you're selling on Etsy, um, but it will give you their tags that way. So we have large puzzle, USA puzzle, thousand piece puzzle, beautiful puzzle, made in USA, gifts for girls, jigsaw puzzles. You kind of get the idea. So you can copy all of these tags. If you have Etsy hunt, you can use some of those. You can also scroll down and see what is suggested down here under the explore related searches. So if you don't want to get Etsy hunt, you can also see that large puzzle, unique puzzle, jigsaw puzzle, made in the USA, um, puzzles for adults. These were all tags that they've used in their actual listing. And so these are bringing traffic in for them and helping them rank on the first page. So you should use some of them as well. So definitely borrow inspiration from the listings that are working well. There's a reason why if you borrow from that and far from that success, then you're likely to see that success as well. So in this case, this will be my first puzzle that I'm uploading to my catalog. And so I'm going to automatically assign a new shipping profile. So here's where we can edit our pricing. I'm going to set this price to 1995, which is a 63% profit margin and $12 profit. This one's going to be 2495 again, 55% profit margin. So we can actually probably adjust this one up to 2795. And then for the 520 piece, let's go ahead and make that 29.95. Actually, we're going to make this 34.95 and the final puzzle is going to be 44.95. So one thing to keep in mind is to build in about 10 to 20% into your prices. That way you can run promotions and that way you can cover all of Etsy's fees and taxes and offsite ads and, and Etsy ads and everything else that you you know, maybe don't foresee at the moment, but, um, you know, taxes can sneak up on you, processing fees, everything else. So make sure to build in an extra 20%. And then that way you can also run 10% discounts. Now, why would you want to do this? Because on Etsy, it's actually going to show on your listing a limited time, 10% discount. And you want that showing as much as possible in order to encourage people to actually take action and purchase from you. And so you can make more money. So, that's how I would do my pricing, set it to where you have a 40% profit margin 
and then add in another 20%. Give yourself that extra buffer. Remember, there's no advantage to being the cheapest, the lowest cost. You know, you're basically just racing to the bottom against other people that are racing to the bottom to make less and less money. There is an advantage to offering what your customer wants at a healthy profit margin so that you can thrive as a business and continue to offer products and continue to stay in business. Whereas the person just going off of price is always going to be continuing to struggle to offer new service and expand their business and grow. And so there is no advantage to pricing yourself at the bottom. Uh, you always want to make sure you have a healthy profit margin and you're doing this for more than um, you know you would almost expect at first. I know a lot of newbies expect to get in and kind of start with lower prices and maybe do volume, but in my opinion, I would probably focus on launching products quickly, but focusing on quality and higher profit margins. Higher profit margins so that every sale that you get actually matters. All right, and just like that, our puzzle is created it's live on Etsy. We obviously need to go in and tweak the photos and the, the title a little bit, add some more tags, maybe tweak the description. But for the most part, it's ready to go. And that's how simple it is to actually list and sell these puzzles. Now, anytime if someone buys this octopus mosaic puzzle for me, I'm going to make money. Now you're seeing a Facebook ad screenshot here because I want to remind you that I have an upcoming case study a Facebook ads and Instagram ads case study for a client in the personalized pet niche for print on demand products. I'm going to be releasing this video soon. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And so you're going to get the notification of when that comes out. And then if you're looking for group coaching with myself, there's a very small group right now because I just launched group coaching, book a discovery call. We'll see if we're a good fit together. And if you're positioned to take advantage of group coaching where we meet every single week, we talk about what's working. We talk about how to succeed faster. And inside of this group, you also get to pick my brain and ask me questions whenever you get stuck. So the idea behind this is if you're serious about print on demand, this is going to accelerate your growth. And it's going to honestly give you the opportunity to work close with me one on one. And I'm going to kind of handhold you through the process and, and help you overcome a lot of the roadblocks you would normally encounter. So the link for a discovery call is below. I don't want to waste anyone's time. It'll be quick. It'll be simple. It's not going to be overly salesy or anything like that. I just want to see if we're a good fit together. And you can also ask me any questions you have at that time as well. Join the free Facebook group where I'm sharing free assets, free resources, strategies, tips, inspiration to stay in the game. Join the free Facebook group. You got nothing to lose. And guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Be sure to like this video if you got value, create something awesome, and I will see you in the next video.